Why are we doing this session on the p-value and the null hypothesis? Most people follow medicine's research results without knowing what the p-value is. Do you? It's the probability that the hypothesis is correct. I wish it was. That's what you would really like to know. Is it the probability the hypothesis is due to chance? That's the same thing expressed in reverse. Unfortunately it's not that either. I know. It's the probability of observing a result like this if there's no true difference. Yes. It's a conditional probability that applies under the null hypothesis, where there is no difference. Why do we test the null hypothesis? That's an idea in reasoning introduced by Karl Popper. Who's Karl Popper? He was a philosopher who wrote about the theory of knowledge. He said some things cannot be proved, only disproved. Tell us more. In the Simtalib's book, The Black Swan, he describes how the old world thought all swans were white until they came to Australia. Imagine the hypothesis all swans are white. To prove it, you'd have to examine every swan on the planet. To disprove it, you can stop as soon as you spot a black swan. Okay so we try to disprove the null hypothesis. We reject it by applying a statistical test. Exactly. So is that the only thing that's special about the null hypothesis? No, there's something else, even more important. It represents the simplest view of nature. All differences are zero. That's a good starting point. The null hypothesis applies most of the time. Yes. Much of what we do makes little or no difference. Is this like, all men are created equal? Did you say, men?